vacuum. As soon as you finished your masters, there was vacuum. Two choices, go for a PhD or go for a job. You chose to pursue your PhD, so you wrote CSI and exam. And today you wrote the exam. Now, most probably you are thinking what to do next. So basically you came out of one vacuum and you are in another vacuum. In the absence of an action plan, we all fall prey to pessimism that is negativity and we start delaying things, procrastinating and not moving forward in our career. Now this vacuum will last till the day your next result doesn't come. So this vacuum will be there from the day of exam till the day result comes. Now. Today in this video, we're going to talk about what exactly you should do in this vacuum time in between the exam and results so that you can maximize benefits for your career. Now, to start with, most of you will already have ideas or plans. So I respect that and I am sure you already have th thought about it. But there are many students who want to listen from the experts and understand what they should be doing to make sure that they get 100 times better results in this gap time. So gap time, a good time, right? So starting with the first point which I have for you is of course you have worked hard, you have uh, studied so much and in fact the last 15 days was so intense, right? And the last three hours when you were writing the exam actually, that was really, really uh, mind blowing, right? Mind boggling, right? Bheja fray as we say. So now that you have just finished the exam, it's time to reward yourself. It's time to relax. It's time to celebrate your win. So don't forget to celebrate your win. How would you do it? You have better ideas than me. Probably call all, call all your friends, get, have a get together, you know, uh, go to a nice restaurant and throw a party. Whether the exam was good or bad, irrespective of that, still celebrate, okay? Don't be upset that the exam was bad or good or don't be fearful that the results will be good or bad. Instead, this is your moment. This is your moment of victory where you have finished the exam. So go ahead and enjoy. So that's the first point. Relax and celebrate. Enjoy this small win of finishing the exam successfully. Now coming to the second point, which is analyze your question paper. So uh, Biotechnica is going to conduct a live session. We are going to uh, do a joint session with all of you where we will analyze the question paper, the answer key, the where things went wrong, what we should have done. And all that analysis will be provided to all of you on Biotechnica's YouTube channel free of cost. So that will be there. So you can always analyze your question paper and your performance and match it with the answer key which Biotechnica will provide. And mind you, Biotechnica provides industry's most elaborate, most uh, explanatory um, question paper and answer key wherein we'll give you explanation for every question and why it should be that particular option. So this will come handy forever for you. So don't forget to download that. Now, the third part is very crucial, which is the action part, actionable insights from this video. And that is, this is the right time. This gap is good time to plan your career. Okay, think about it. If you qualify the CSI and exam, so you have to prepare for your interviews, so start preparing for your interviews. If you qualify CSI and exam, so you have to decide which you should to choose, which PI to choose, start working on that, start deciding on that. If um, you've just written CSI and exam, definitely uh, now the question will be, I need some hands-on skills and training because if I'm getting selected in an institute, they will ask me to work on a lab, in a lab. So I need to do hands-on training. So you can do a lot of hands-on training. So, and then you, it'll be like, okay, I want to pursue my uh, PhD in this particular topic. So are there any certifications on biotechnical which, which I can check and so suppose you're planning cancer biology you can go for it you're planning for CRISPR go for it so you can do a lot of certification courses also now apart from that probably um, you will think that um, maybe I want to make a career in bioinformatics or bioinformatics will come handy so you can always do the bioinformatics internship which we are conducting uh, next month or uh, if you plan to strengthen your molecular biology skills and hands-on training in a wet lab in IIC or JNU labs then you can always go for the uh, MBT internship which is molecular biology techniques internship which is starting from 15th of June. Now these are some things which you can do for your career. Now apart from that of course you'll have a lot of questions so what you can do is you can enroll in your enroll in our uh, Biotechnica's mentorship program and you can take advantage of all the 
questions which you have all the doubts which you have you can ask your mentor and you can get it clarified so yeah um, planning your career is a complete thing which you can do in the next six months and you can grow intellectually professionally as well as as a person because you will meet so many people who will share their wisdom with you as a mentor and then you will grow right so that's a very important point that's actionable insight for you the next point which i have is uh, you know in today's world information is everything like recently you had a very horri horrible and horrific accident in orissa where two uh, trains uh, collided and then a uh, lot of people died more than 1000 people in got injured 300 people got uh, died so uh, what really happened here is there was a lack of information lack of coordination right so when you stay informed you avoid accidents right so if you want to avoid any career accident then you have to stay informed so start attending a lot of webinars and workshops which biotechnica is conducting and we have a lot of global experts coming online and they're giving uh, virtual uh, uh, training to all our students so you can attend that and uh, you can stay informed about the latest whatever is happening in the industry now fast forward to that see you, you have to stop underestimating yourself stop thinking that you're just a student you are already a professional because you are a graduate and postgraduate so you have to you know start taking your career seriously you have to start attending these events whether it's virtual or offline or online or hands-on or data analysis whatever kind of uh, industry events are happening please participate okay then next, which I will uh, again, uh, it's like a related topic is you should enhance your skills and knowledge about that particular subject in which you want to do your PhD and uh, some computer skills related to the subject in which you want to pursue research. So, for example, you want to do cancer research, but do you know that uh, in future artificial intelligence will be doing cancer uh, research, right? So, how about learning a bit of artificial intelligence and Python and coding a bit? So, yeah, you know, you can update your, enhance your knowledge and skills. Uh, in this gap period. Now, followed by that, uh, it's also very important to have a backup plan. For example, okay, there's a six months gap, so why not go for a um, internship or a job where, so that can be your backup plan, like a plan B, like, okay, if my exam uh, results come negative, um, so probably I'll continue with my job. Or maybe the plan B can be you continue your preparation right now itself uh, with Biotechnica. We have a batch starting from 15th of June, which is the Josh batch. So you can continue your preparation uh, as a backup plan. So in case by, by you know, just bad luck or something, uh, you know, you missed out the cutoff by a few marks. So okay you have to write next time so you will already be in touch with the subject so i think that's the best backup plan you should have and there's no harm in having a backup plan it's just a, a safety net to catch hold of your uh, you know time and efforts in case uh, the result comes negative which i'm sure will not be negative so that's where uh, comes the attitude so you have to maintain a throughout positive attitude in the next six months okay many students start feeling negative that maybe i'll not qualify maybe i'll uh, you know my career is spoiled maybe i did a mistake all that you know start negative self-talk so don't do negative self-talk instead uh, approach your this gap period is this vacuum period with a positive mindset and the last point which i have for you is don't forget to check Biotechnica because it's a lot of opportunities, a lot of events and a lot of webinars, workshops, conferences and a lot of knowledge pieces being shared on Biotechnica. So if you are, if you have downloaded our app or website, if you have, if you are subscribed, you will get all of that and that will probably help you transition from a student to an industry professional which you actually want to become, right? So that's all I wanted to share in today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section, what are your plans? What do you want to do in this gap period? And let's come together to make this gap period worthwhile. Thank you so much. See you soon in the next one. Till then, keep shining. Bye-bye.